Hey guys, it's Aesthetic. Uh, so I'm back in my hometown for a week, hanging out with the other guys from the Steel Donut Collective. Honestly, kind of my main channel at this point. But uh, I figured we were taking a lot of vlogs for that, so I figured you know I haven't really done a lot of vlogs for Aesthetic, so uh, I kind of want to try one out. So I want to show you guys where I got most of my games from, uh, vintage stock. Uh, you know, used game store, used media store, new and old, you know, um, kind of close by. And so I'm going to go inside and kind of just show, like, what their PS2 game selection is like, sort of, you know, what they have to offer. Yeah, so I'm now in, and I mean, just use their PS2 games, PS3 and PS4 next to it. And yeah, all used games, but pretty good selection, like, uh, if I was starting on my channel today, like, there'd be Aggressive Inline, there'd be Airblade. You know, that's not just the big ones that everyone had, it's kind of a lot like Kelly Slater right here. You know, just kind of seeing things that catch my eye as I go along. Oh, look, that is not my copy of Johnny Mosley Matrix. Someone else had a copy and then, oh. $3.99, just like mine, still the cheapest game I've bought for my series, I think. Um, but yeah, I mean, just, sorry if it keeps going out of focus. Just, so glad that, you know, I had such a big selection, I didn't have to turn to the internet really early on. Or maybe I would have just played the bigger ones. Like, I know I haven't really started up PlayStation 1, but... You know, they got a selection here, just I haven't really gone much into this area yet in my videos, but yeah, so, uh, and Xbox stuff is over there, kind of the same good selection for anything that's like Xbox only or such, but yeah, cool. Back at the PS2 is actually looking at stuff to buy, but, uh, some other poor unfortunate sap can get Gravity Games bike, if you know where to look. Yeah, like I said, they got one of everything here, like, yeah. Okay, just another one. I saw this, and I was like, this looks weird. Who said fantasies had to be final? Like, after I get through all the obscure extreme sports games, I'm honestly kind of thinking of just... Shit, I'm filming this vertical, but whatever. Thinking of getting some of these obscure, weird games and just showing them off, too. Like, I don't know, that might be kind of cool, but... All right, I gotta stop filming random crap and pick out. All right, and just in case, here's what I picked up. Some kind of obscure stuff. First, uh, Hypersonic Racing, or Hypersonic Extreme Racing. Man, I played this game as a kid. It had the best track editor. Had a crazy track editor. I've always seen it there, never picked it up again. Probably not gonna play it for the channel, but just wanna have it on hand, you know? Because again, no real good, you know, used game store over where I moved to. Um, next, I just saw some weird stuff. So this is called Miracle Space Race, and it looks like a kitty thing. But I swear, I swear, and if I can focus in. Thanks, Cat. Um, if will focus in. I think these are the characters from ATV Racers. They just, like, put in new textures and made the cars float and just made a new game. So we'll have to see... Oh my god, I'm sorry for the cat. <laughs> Parents' cat. Anyway, next I saw this game, uh, Action Man Operation Extreme. I mean, come on, Extreme's in the name. You know I gotta do it. Uh, some weird stuff on the box. So, again, not extreme sports game, just kind of a funny thing I might break out and show at some point. Uh, ATV Quad Power Racing 1. Uh, played the second one for a Let's Not Play and was really underwhelmed, but hey... Maybe like the Snowcross games, the first one was, you know, good or decent, and then they just bungled the second. Uh, Deer Hunter, again, kind of a more humorous pick. Not extreme sport, but like, I don't know, look at that, like, the guy's driving his ATV, like, ride your ATV boat, snowmobile, and horse to prime hunting areas. You know, maybe it's got <laughs> some extreme sports known at all. And this is actually a viewer request, MX Rider. I thought it was a PAL-only game, but it looks like it's got an NTSC version. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll check that out pretty soon. Maybe show that off in a video. But, yeah, so, again, some really good picks. Um, I can't see myself now, but 
So hopefully the cameras let me. So yeah, that was I'm in Cedic. That's just my short little vlog showing off uh, the used game store I got a lot of my games from. You know, just kind of, I thought that'd be cool. If you thought this was cool, let me know. If you want to see more like it, I mean, like, <laughs> I could try to do other live action stuff. I just don't know what I'd really do. But, all right, thanks.